Okay. So to set the tone for this conference, um, I want to welcome one of our distinguished speakers. Um, I don't think that there's any woman in Nigeria who puts on makeup that won't recognize um, the name. Um, Mrs. Tara Fela Durotoye. <laughs> Mrs. Tara is the CEO of and founder of House of Tara International. So her accolades and accomplishments are just beyond my ability to like cram. So I'm just going to read um, from some research that I've managed to, to do on, on Mrs. Durotoye. Um, so Mrs. Tara Fela Durotoye is a Nigerian lawyer and uh, cos cosmetic artist. Um, she founded Nigeria's first bridal directory, founded a global standard makeup studio, um, and also a makeup school. Um, this was back decades ago. This is before makeup and makeup artistry actually even blew up as like a sustainable thing to do every single weekend for women. Um, as the CEO and founder of House of Tara International, she empowers aspiring entrepreneurs through her Entrepreneur Hub platform. House of Tara International has over 10,000 salespeople across Africa, 270 products, 26 storefronts, and 14 beauty schools. It's amazing. As of 2019, the company has locations in Ghana, Senegal, and Benin Republic. With over 1,500 students graduating from House of Tara Academy, many of whom working for major global cosmetic brands and beauty blogs, um, Mrs. Durotoye is indeed a game changer in Nigeria's cosmetic sector, inspiring the rest of Africa. Tara is proof that being creative or enabling the creative industry in Nigeria comes in different shapes, sizes, and looks. Please, everyone, a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. What she just shared with you is 25 years. And I didn't hear anyone clap. When she talked about that, I feel offended. <laughs> Do you know what it is to run, to start a business in Nigeria, break ground, then keep at it over a period of time, not two years, not three years, not four years, not five, 25. Um, so I am a creative and I'm very excited to be in the same room with other creatives. Um, it's great to see that this creative industry has really evolved and so much is coming out of it. Um, I feel very privileged to be here at a time where what media group is creating this sort of platform. So I'd like to start by saying that um, I want to commend everyone here because we are in a society for a very long time that thought you had to be an architect, a doctor. Uh, so when you make a decision to become a creative, you're actually doing something that where you are pushing against the standard of what the world in Nigeria considers to be great. So please commend the next person beside you. Give them a, a, a thumbs up. And appreciate them for their audacity. For their audacity to start and try. I've been trying to talk about... Um, how do we amplify our success? Because everyone here is at one part of the success journey in the creative space. And how do we amplify our success? And I think um, one of the two things I want us to consider is number one, as we build, we must understand that the entire ecosystem is beyond us. It's a, a whole community. It's a whole human race. And that human race is also a relay race. We are not going to solve Africa's problems, Nigeria's problems, by just being one-man show. So how Sotara can have multiple locations, and I can stand here and be a speaker, and not be forced to be doing one bright makeup somewhere, simply because systems have been created, and there's a structure behind that. And so when we talk about infrastructure, facilities, financing, it is because the business was financed, it is because we were able to build the infrastructure to support whether it was the retail business or become a distribution chain. It's not about just being 
Tara, that one man, that one creative. And I'm hoping that when we walk away today from today, we're thinking about success, number one, as one who's passing a baton of success to the next generation. So success will be passing a baton of legacy of success to the next generation. So at the end of our time running our businesses or, or being creative, if there is no button that's been moved from one hand to the other, then we haven't really achieved success. So I want us to commit today. I want to bring it to our consciousness. I know many of us are thinking about this. That as I build in my creative space, I develop of my talent to become a real business, I must think about moving that button from me to someone else, moving that button from me to an industry, moving that button from me to multiple people. Okay? So that's one, handing over a button of success or a legacy of success to the next generation. The next one, the next thought I want us to have is how to prepare the next generation for success. So one, I'm moving the button, but how do I prepare the next generation for success? We will not really succeed if we don't do that. And that will be through training and development. And I'm happy that Mara talked about that earlier on. It is what we've done at House of Tara. When I started as a bridal makeup artist, it was great to serve brides, go to their homes, have their makeup done. But after a while, three, makeup art three brides are getting married on the same day. Four brides are getting married on the same day. I can't be in everywhere at the same time. One bride is in Kano, another one is in Abuja, another one is in Lagos. How can that, how can, would I say, well, I can't do it. No, it became clear that there was a need and that need needed more hands. And the question was, should I start training people? There was a conversation of how can you train people? What you're doing is building competition for yourself. And I didn't listen to that because it wasn't just about me. If I didn't start the training school, we will not have the size of the industry that we have today. And guess what, at the time, international brands were not thinking about Nigeria. Nigeria was not in, the, in their thoughts. Today we have so many international brands in Nigeria, plus a rise of local brands. They can have makeup artists today simply because there was a training school that created a pipeline of makeup artists <laughs> that could serve. But it's not, it wasn't just about training them to become makeup artists. It was also to train them to become micro-entrepreneurs, to understand what it means to build your business beyond you. So it's great to start being a hustler, to start doing warm, bright makeup, but we started to teach them how to keep their books, how to pay themselves a salary. And we created an entire uh, program called Building Structure Behind Your Talent. And so if you are a videographer, a YouTube creator, don't just think about how am I creating my content. Think about how do I prepare the next generation for success. This is what builds the ecosystem beyond you and I. So in closing, these are the two things I want to stay, take away from this conversation. I want to bring to your consciousness is that we have to think about impactful creativity and creativity that, is impact, it's, that has impact. So impactful creativity and the impact of our work. What does my work mean? What does it mean? Is it enough for me just to make money? Is, it, is that all this is all about? How can this be more purposeful and more meaningful? And I'm very excited to see that Chichi, even though her organization hasn't been here for 10 years, she hasn't waited for it to be 20 years old, to decide I'm not going to just be creative. I'm also going to be impactful in my creativity. So well done to Chichi, the CEO and founder of What Media. She is a visionary. When I met her, she shared with me what she wanted to do at the time. And I saw her go through many years just toiling to bring this to fruition. 
looking for investors, selling her, her, her what she had to offer, and pushing and pushing and pushing. And every year, she would say to us, at the end of this year, it will happen. And it didn't happen the first year. And it didn't happen the second year. After a while, we created a WhatsApp group to say, you know what, Chichi, this has to happen this year, right? And I'm grateful that I get to see and experience her. She's a wonderful mother, wonderful mother, mother of two sons. We call them our consultants. When you ever get the chance to talk to Chichi's children, it's like they will consult for you. They, they consult for me. Um, she's a pan-Africanist. She loves Africa. She's very concerned about making sure that the creative industry, the sports industry in Nigeria continues to thrive. And I think we have somebody who's special in the room because we have Chichi. She's one of my own mem personal board members. And so I'm super excited to have her uh, come on stage and I would love her profile to be read properly so that we can all know what she's all about. I love you, Chichi, and well done.